Hey guys and welcome to a new video. Today I come to you from the reflectiveness of a touch screen connected to a Raspberry Pi. Now I demonstrated this yesterday um, showing Windows 10 and was quite amused actually on how many comments I received saying the video was fake. Well guys it wasn't fake, it was totally genuine. I don't do fake videos. Um, the point of the video was to show um, how the touch screen was working through a streamed session. So it was Windows 10 um, being displayed on the screen but because of the resolution of the display it was only the first quarter of the screen. Now I've installed uh, Rasplex onto this now and as we can see the resolution is actually okay on here and the touch screen also works so we can actually display and test some videos so as we can see it's fine for this and actually the quality of the screen is actually quite impressive it's got good contrast good colors um, I mean yeah fine it's not exactly the latest Samsung type quality of color but um, I think for for what it is it's actually very clear it's um, the resolution is actually quite good um, I mean obviously Plex is downscaling it to fit on this um, resolution but as you can see the clarity of the screen is actually very good um, so quite impressed by that but the problem is is you can't stop the video so you still need a keyboard to be able to control so navigation of Rasplex is okay to a degree um, so I can go back uh, it, oh, incidentally, by the way, once you uh, uh, plug it into a touch screen, it doesn't work the first time. You have to go over to the um, settings and go over to um, input devices. And there's a little option there that says enable mouse and touch screen support. So you put that little tick in there, then uh, it does uh, actually work. But the problem you've got is once you're in settings, um, there's no way to navigate out. Uh, Rasplex interface hasn't got a little arrow so I still need to use a trusty keyboard to back out. Wait for that to wake up and there you go. So if we go over to here to play a video this is all fine. Press play Yeah, video's playing fine. We can see lots of little chinchillas running around. I think they're chinchillas or meerkats, I don't know. Um, yeah, great, but how do you stop the video? You can't. You'd expect to double tap on the screen to uh, actually stop the, the playing, which it doesn't. So that, in my opinion, missed, uh, in my opinion, if that needs to be added to the software is a double tap to be able to stop so I still need a keyboard to be able to stop the video so we never get back we can go to home and the other problem is is I have no ability to scroll up my my menus yet again there is a UI interface problem of I need the keyboard to go up and down. So it's fine if you've got all of your content on um, one menu, but as soon as you go off screen, you can't navigate off of it. So that, in my opinion, is also a problem uh, and needs to be uh, added to the software. But um, all in all, it's getting there. But uh, you could not live purely from the touch screen. You see, it's not. Ah, there you go. So it's not purely usable from a pure touchscreen point of view. So these things need to be changed really on the uh, Rasplex interface um, for true touchscreen um, to be uh, usable. So just to summarize that, basically the menus that you can't go up and down on, you can't back out of your preferences, um, and also you can't stop a playing video. 
So that's really my only complaints about Rasplex on the touchscreen. But other than that, it's a, a great bit of software and great quality. Uh, it's good on its reproduction for colour. And uh, quite impressed. And incidentally, this video that's playing here is actually 1080p. Um, but I suspect, as we can see there, look. Um, it's been downscaled, so obviously because it's running from the Plex server, the Plex server is downscaling the content um, to work on the resolution of the touch screen. And I think this one is 1080 as well. There it is. Um, so yeah, but all in all, okay, uh, a few improvements needed. So I hope these suggestions are taken on board by uh, the Rasprex uh, developers uh, and I think once that's done it will be excellent and um, <clears throat> I know some people were saying that this wasn't actually a pie yesterday and I was faking it with the whole Windows 10 thing. Um, well guess what guys, it is a pie. And there's the pie bolted onto the back through the cables um, and it is powered through the screen circuitry so there you go so for all those people that say I do fake videos really I think I've got better things to do with my time than do fake videos so I hope this was informative for you and um, uh, like subscribe and share as well it helps promote the channel until next time see you later